1969 MGB GT. So it's a factory chrome bumper car. As you can see, finished in this lovely primrose color. Uh, now the owner has done a couple of mild modifications to it just to use it as a bit of a light rally car, if you like, uh, whilst he was finishing his proper Cortina rally car. We've known this car for a few years, actually. Um, owner's very careful with his cars, very particular. Um, he's done a few light bits and bobs. So there's a half cage in there, so the rear seats have been taken out. Harnesses, bucket seats, um, and a couple of the bits and bobs, which we'll point out as we go around. Hasn't been down any huge forest tracks or anything like that. It's been used quite lightly, as you'll see when we show you inside the arches and things like that. Um, but actually relatively easy to put back to standard, or if you want to keep it as this sort of spec, which I quite like, you can always do that. Right, starting on the uh, on the bodywork, if we look down this side, you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there. All your panel gaps on the doors and things are nice and neat. Driver's front wing, we've got no marks to really note on the front there. We've got one tiny little bit of... In fact, actually, that looks like... It's, ignore that, it's on top of the paint. But there, uh, we'll get that polished off. Inside the arch, sharp all the way around. Got a couple of little minor stone chips down the bottom, but generally pretty good. If we put the camera in there, you can see... It's not caked in rust or anything like that. There's a little bit of mud down the bottom, but other than that, all good. So these mini light style alloy wheels, loads of tread left in the tyres. All nice and neat on the top of the wing there. Along the seam, we've got a little bit of paint cracking, but nothing too major along there. But along the bottom of the windscreen's all good. The seal around there is nice and soft. It's not, uh, it's not dried out or anything like that. Coming along the top, that's all good as well. And then moving up onto the roof, lovely and straight. No ripples, no dents, anything like that. Glass on this side, it still is all glass. It's not been sort of fully stripped out and turned into plastic or anything like that. It's all nice and clear. Around the uh, the door mirror, that's all good. Little chip in the door just there, or in the wing there where it meets the door. Coming along the bottom of the sill there. All nice and tidy, and again, you can see it's not been jacked up wrong. Anything like that, very, very clean. So it's not full rally car hammered as you would expect this one's nice and tidy a little bubble in the bottom of the door just there but other than that all good coming down onto the rear quarter there's no rust coming through here in the usual spots arch itself is good all the way around a few minor stone chips a lot of that's mud but there's a couple of little stone chips at the bottom there and a few more down the bottom there just once sort of the paint touched in just to stop any corrosion another good wheel and tire and then if you look back up this side like i say nice and straight Round on the back, both taillights are bright and clear. We've got a rear spot on the bumper there, which is nice. Chrome work on the bumper is generally pretty good, but it's got a little bit of patina to it. But generally pretty good. You have to get right on top of it to pick a fault with it. Toe strap underneath. But that rear valance is all nice and tidy. No real marks. The note is on the back to whinge about. Around the rear window again, that's good. Seal's nice and soft. Glass is clear. Round on the passenger side, and again, nice and straight all the way down. Low half of the valance there, that's all good. Sharp all the way around, and again, nice and neat where it meets the sill. Inside the arch itself, all good. Going up this side, all good on the sill on that side. Little stone chip just here on the door. Glass on this side is clear and tidy as well. Same with the windscreen on the front and the seal on this side, all nice and tidy. Little bit of paint cracking in there. It's not corrosion, it's just where the paint sort of cracked a little bit. And then onto the front wing, nice and sharp along the bottom there, and the arch itself is good all the way around, as you can see. It is nice and clean in here. All good on the wheel and tyre, round on the front. Similar story with the chrome work here, generally pretty good. Um, you have to, if you're being really picky, it's not perfect, but it's, it, it is generally very good. It has had some mounts with some spotlights put on there. Personally, I'd put them back on, I think that looks really good. Headlights on both sides, indicators and side lights are all good. It has had bonnet pins plug put on the uh, on the bonnet there, obviously for the rally car sort of spec, which will uh, get them undone so we can pull the bonnet up easier later on. So interior, exterior wise, good looking car, looks nice and racy, but not too far into the sort of race car spec. Door card, all nice and tidy on there. It's got some bigger door pulls on there. And then we have these Sparco bucket seats. I'm a bit, of a chunky boy i can fit in there quite well so that's all right plenty of room in there they're nice and uh, nice and comfy decent size harnesses as well not the thin little spindly ones lovely and neat on the steering wheel top of the dash is all good we're on uh, 84,000 miles and we do have the sort of radio delete plate there was a timing screen there which has been taken out easy enough to put a stereo back in if you wanted to 
does have a overdrive this one as well into the boot that stays up nice and tight look under here all good in there you can see the back of that safety devices cage so the right brand a couple of marshall stickers on there as well so it's been through scrutineering and being approved so it's all in properly no point of having it. you do see cars where the cages are just placed in it just doesn't make any sense to me lovely and tidy on the uh passenger side seat again matching bucket seats they're not a sort of mismatch got all your dates and everything on the back there you can see the scrutineering stickers down the side this side of the dash again nice and tidy on there now under the engine uh, under the bonnet relatively old but i believe to be a standard engine standard carbs all that sort of stuff just well maintained that's all to do with one hand well maintained what's the last thing you want is if you're going to go and do an event in the car let you down it looks to have had a new oil cooler recently um, but again standard sort of spec inner wings and everything are all really nice and tidy in there there's no sign of any corrosion coming through firewall bulkhead all very very tidy plaques are all nice and visible front panel's good underside of the bonnet's lovely as well was driven to is this one i have briefly taken it down the road it drives lovely a little bit of choke because it's stone cold fires up on the button Taking over nice and happy. Nothing nasty coming out the back. So there you have it. A little bit of a road race spec. Chrome bumper BGT. Any more questions, please get in touch. Thank you.